What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So if you are into personal finance or investing like myself, then you probably know that one of the most important factors is time. And if you can get on top of your investing game at a young age, then you can reap some pretty fantastic benefits down the road. So today I wanna to look at some of the most important financial steps that you can take immediately in your 20s or even your early 30s that will set you up for a great financial future. Now, full disclosure, this is not a get rich quick scheme. And if that's what you're looking for, then this is not the video for you. But if you want a realistic approach on how you can put in a little bit of effort now and reap some great benefits down the road, then be sure to stick around to the end because this is definitely the right video for you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and let's jump right into it. So the first and most important thing you can do is get your free $100 using the link in the description with SoFi. Completely kidding. Okay, but seriously, the first thing you wanna do is opening a high interest savings account. Now, obviously I know this is not an investment and opening a savings account is not going to make you uber rich in the future. However, it is a really important foundational step that we'll use to build on the next steps if you wanna hit them full force. Now, to be completely honest with you, most bank accounts absolutely suck because they charge you ridiculous fees and pay you basically nothing in interest. Now, because of the low interest across the board right now, those high interest options are becoming pretty scarce, but there are still some great options and the most important things you wanna look for are that they charge no minimum balance fees, no monthly or maintenance fees, and you wanna shoot for the highest interest rate possible. Now, personally, I love and have used Ally Bank, Discover Bank, and and of course, SoFi, link in the description. Now I've talked about each of these in depth in other videos, so I'll be sure to leave you some links up above, but these are some great options. And again, this really is a very important first step because you're going to use this bank account to build on all of the other steps since it is really your financial foundation. With this, you can hold money between investments, set up direct deposits with your employers and other sources of income, pay off your credit cards immediately. Just do it! And of course, set up your emergency fund, which brings us to the next step. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, or if you're like me and you would just love to take Dave Ramsey out for a drink, then you know that an emergency fund is a very important step if you wanna build wealth quickly. Emergencies happen, and you may think that everything is going well and that you're dumping all of your money into your investments, but when your car breaks down or you have a health crisis, you don't wanna have to sell your assets at a rock bottom price just to pay for that emergency. So within that savings account that you just set up, go ahead and set aside three to six months of expenses that will cover any large emergency that could pop up. I don't wanna dwell on this too much because I know this is pretty simple, but that does bring us to the first actual form of investment, which is opening a Roth IRA. Now, I'm sure you have heard of this before, especially if you've been here on my channel, but if you don't know, a Roth IRA is simply an individual retirement account that allows you to contribute after tax money, meaning money that you have already paid income taxes on and then you put it into this Roth IRA account. This is a huge advantage at a young age because you're probably in a pretty low tax bracket and with a Roth IRA, you don't have to pay taxes on that money in the future when you go to take it out. So when you're living in your mansion and driving around your dream car, you won't have to pay the tax rate of a really wealthy person because you already paid taxes on it when you're young and in a lower tax bracket. And in essence, this means that you really can become a tax-free millionaire. And with some smart investing within your Roth IRA, you really can achieve that goal. And that's an important reminder that a Roth IRA is not an investment. It's simply the type of account, just like a savings account. But within your Roth IRA, you can buy all kinds of assets, which I do cover in my video that's completely about Roth IRAs. But to get straight to the point, my suggestion to you or someone who is just getting started, and again, I'm just a guy on the internet, but my suggestion is to buy either index funds or ETFs. Broad index funds like an S&P 500 fund, such as VT Sachs, has consistently outperformed active traders over long periods of time. And when I say long periods of time, I mean decades and decades. Remember, it's fine if you wanna have your mad money account that you day trade Bitcoin with, but you don't wanna use that as your long-term investing strategy. For long-term consistent growth of your hard-earned money, you wanna keep it really simple with those ETFs or index funds and buy them within the most tax advantage account, which for most people is a Roth IRA. So once you get the ball rolling with all of these things, you'll probably hit the max contribution limit for a Roth IRA, which currently is at $6,000 per year. So you wanna be able to contribute to an employer-sponsored retirement account, such as a 401k as well. If you are young, 
young and you believe that a Roth IRA is the right account for you, then you want to ask your employer if they offer a Roth 401k because you get the exact same tax advantages, but the contribution limit is significantly higher. And I believe right now it's just shy of $20,000 per year. And that can make a huge difference down the road when you're contributing a lot more money over a long time. Now, as far as 401ks go, you want to try to at least contribute whatever your employer is willing to match. And when I say match, I literally mean they give you free money of whatever you put in and they match that exactly. So most employers will say that they will match your contributions up to whatever threshold. And you want to make sure that you are at least contributing up to that threshold, because that means you put in $100 and your employer puts in $100, meaning you get an instant 100% return on everything you put in. Once you get settled in with that, you want to aim for a higher investment percentage of your total income, which usually should be around 15% but you need to look at your financial situation and decide what you can work out and what will work best for you. But I will say, if you're saying to yourself that 15% is way too much, then you probably wanna look at your budget because I have a feeling you either have a large car payment or you're paying way too much for your housing or you have some kind of debt that you definitely wanna take care of quickly. Once those things are in check, then 15% of your income going towards investing should not seem like that much money. And you might find that you can actually go much higher than that. Now, I know I said that you wanna keep your long-term investing simple and I will stand by that forever but it doesn't hurt to get a certified financial planner or some sort of financial professional or financial advisor on your side, since there are lots of factors when it comes to your personal finances. And it's completely okay if you don't have the desire or skill set to learn all of the ins and outs of your personal finances. And that's why financial professionals exist. There is a great website called Smart Investor Pro that will help you find a financial advisor in your area. And they are vetted and genuinely want what is best for you and aren't simply trying to squeeze every little management fee out of you. I have no affiliation with SmartVestor Pro, but I have used their service and it is a great way to find a local financial professional who is willing to help you and really does have the heart of a teacher. So if you've done all of these things, then you're probably sitting pretty and you're well on your way to being a millionaire. But I want to stress, especially at a young age, it is so important to invest in yourself. And I don't mean this in a cheesy way. Speaking from experience, it's easy to get fixated on the number in your bank account, especially when you're doing really well for yourself at a young age and you feel like you don't want to stop that momentum. But unfortunately, you can't take your money to the grave and that leaves you with either spending it, saving or investing it, or giving it away. And I hope in your budget, there's some place for all of those three things. If you've gotten to the point where you're doing all of those things that we talked about in this video, then there is no shame in investing in yourself. Maybe that means buying yourself a new phone or a new outfit, or maybe for you, that means buying a book or purchasing a course that will help you better your skill set. Whatever it is, don't kick it down the road so far just because you don't want the number in your account to go down. Maybe I'm the weird one and maybe this isn't as common as I think, but if you get to the point where you find it difficult to spend money, then you just need to remind yourself that what's the point in working so hard if you're not gonna actually spend and enjoy what that money can buy you. A few weeks ago, you might remember that I made a video on the car that I bought for myself and that was actually a really big step for me because I'm always so hyper-focused on my investments and my income and how I can make more money. So spending $17,000 on a car was really difficult for me, especially at my age. But I knew I had worked hard for it. I knew I could buy it in cash. And most importantly, I knew it would make me happy. And that's why investing in yourself is so important. I'm not saying that you should go blow everything on something that you shouldn't buy and can't afford, but there's no harm in investing yourself and spending a little bit of that hard-earned money. Now again, everyone is different and maybe you're the kind of person who has no problem spending money and that is totally okay because everybody is different and we all start from different places. But by following the steps that we talked about in this video and putting a little bit of effort in now, you really can set yourself up for an awesome financial future. So with all of that being said, if you do have any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below and I am more than happy to give you my unprofessional opinion as always. And if you do wanna get started with that first step with opening an account, then be sure to use that first link in the description for SoFi because they will give you $100 for free just for opening a banking and investing account with them. And they are by far my favorite platform, so be sure to check them out. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. And of course, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh,